Yeah. <laughs> we call that free stuff in the office. They know, like, the people who are putting out games that are ones, they know they're getting a one. Like, they know what they're doing. They usually don't send you the game right away. We have to go out and buy it. They don't send it to you with for review code. When they make you buy it, you know pretty much what you're getting. So <laughs> sort of separate feelings come between like threes and fours and fours and fives, you know, this is their baby, they've been working on this. I can say as someone who's a fan of X Play and Extended Play and these two, before I ever started working on the show, coming on the show, they'll never say this because they're too humble, but these two have never uttered a word that they didn't mean on that show in their entire careers, as far as I'm concerned, having been there. So these guys are the real deal. So anytime you ever doubt anything they say, do yourself a favor and punch yourself in the face. <laughs> You can have your own personal reservations, but you got you're, you're giving that game the benefit of the doubt. Because also, yeah. the developers are really trusting you. They're bringing you their baby. It's not done, and they're bringing it to you, putting it there, and being like, yeah. "I hope you like this game. Don't look at that corner over there. We're not finished with that. The textures over there aren't done. The guy kind of runs like a chicken. Please ignore that." <laughs> so you know, if you're rocking for them too to present it before it's even done, so you know, we really just. Do our best to give it the benefit of the doubt and keep our personal reservations to ourselves. I, I, I try to be, and I, I know I try to come across as a cranky pants, but it would be like really douchey on the show and be like, dude, your game looks kind of awful. <laughs> 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 you know, we, we want the disc. You're going to clean that up, right? Because, woo! <laughs> and yes, uh, people have gotten angry. I'll refer you to my uh, Metacritic rant from GBC. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting position. You know, for us who have been doing this for a long time, we we know a lot of these guys pretty well, and you know they do give us their babies. Like you know, Sterling Garvey is our reading previews editor. You know, we, we we take these relationships seriously, but we're also being honest with you. On you know, we write up a preview, or we write up a review, or we put a number on a score of a review. So um, you know, sometimes there's a game that's a two. Sometimes there's a game that's a five. Great, you know, but you know, we're going to be honest with you with, with what we give games, and, you know, we definitely always stand by our word, so. And we, we know it's hard to put a, a number score on a game with so many good things about the game and bad things about the game, and so we really do hope people watch our television reviews and are, or go to the web and look up a game and actually read the review as opposed to just looking at the score, because, you know, a game can get a four, not because it's a bad game, but because maybe it's not the right game for everybody, and maybe you should read it and it might be the perfect game for you, so... We hope people read the score and read their views as well. And the back of the game cartridges. And the back of the game. <laughs> yes. And books. Yes. Read books. Yes. <laughs>